Alrighty guys, what is up? So as you guys saw in the beginning, we got some nice FPV clips. Um, obviously I have been practicing with my FPV drone. It is still kind of a little bit sketchy since, you know, it is completely manual. There's no like safety features or anything. So I'm still getting used to it, but I have been putting in a lot of practice. So hopefully in the future, I can get some really cool shots that will look super dope um, later on. But in today's video, I was originally planning to film this, you know, inside my garage, inside my studio, but I kind of realized that it has been a minute since I've gone outside, I've kind of vlogged, gotten back to that vlogging sense since it has been a minute since I've done this for you guys. So today I decided to come by the river to get some nice, cool cinematic shots around here. And in today's video, we're pretty much gonna be discussing how to grow on YouTube. So I'm gonna talk about people who are just starting, going to 100, um, even people like me who are in the thousand range trying to go a bit higher, you know, to actually make monetization, things like that. So that is what this video is about. And stay tuned later on in this video where we get to some major announcements, which you guys can also see in the title. So let's get into the first tip of how to grow your platform on YouTube or just social media in general. Alrighty guys, so my first tip for people who want to grow their YouTube are pretty much just to start a YouTube channel. And it may be a confusing tip for you guys, but pretty much my first tip is to start. I know it is very, very confusing. Some people are like, what, what do you mean by that? But pretty much when it comes to a lot of people wanting to start on YouTube, they ask so many questions of like, what kind of topics should I talk about? What kind of gear should I use? You know, how should I do this? How should I do that? Are people going to judge me? Like there's so many questions that people ask and the only thing I can tell them is just to start because especially nowadays with smartphones and especially their cameras, they're honestly so good to this point where like you don't necessarily need expensive camera gear. Obviously for me, I do other stuff than just YouTube. I do, you know, films, documentaries, things like that. So for me, it kind of makes sense to invest a bit more into higher quality equipment. But when you're first starting out, even for me, when I first started out, all I had was just my laptop webcam and that was my camera for the most part. And then I kind of moved to my smartphone, I moved to some DSLRs, got into mirrorless, and now we have the beautiful R5. So again, when you start out, you don't need that fancy camera equipment. You don't really need like, you know, you don't need to be like Mr. Beast who spends like so like a lot of money on his videos. So pretty much to recap, when it comes to tip number one, start your YouTube channel. You know, I'm sure you guys have a smartphone or some kind of camera. Um, if you guys have, I mean, obviously if you guys are watching this video, that means you have internet access and probably a device to watch it on, uh, like a laptop or a computer. So again, most people nowadays do have the necessary equipment in order to put out YouTube videos. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, um, just something to start off and to pretty much just find your platform, find your audience, and then go from there. Alrighty guys, so now for tip number two, pretty much you want to find your niche. You want to find something that you're passionate about. So when it comes to this tip, I always recommend people who are starting out their YouTube channel are trying to figure out exactly what they want to make videos of is try to find at least three things that you're super passionate about. Like it can be cooking, tech, camera, like whatever it is, like try to find three things that you're extremely passionate about and then start making videos on that. Like I've seen a lot of people like getting in into like their daily life or doing lifestyle videos, makeup tutorials, things like that. And they start off from there. And then there's people that find them that have similar interests or similar, uh, similar passions. And you know, you guys can build that community, build that audience. And even when it came to me starting out my YouTube channel, like literally I had zero plans for how I wanted to go. I didn't even imagine back then that I would even be coming to this point with a thousand subscribers with camera gear like this. And even me getting into films or documentaries, like it's not something that I originally saw my Myself doing but the more and more that I got into YouTube understanding how to work with camera equipment understanding the world of cinematography and film uh, you know filmmaking is kind of what got me to this point so again just start off something with super simple it doesn't have to be related to what you want to do in the future like for me when I first started I was making toy reviews <laughs> like that was literally my very first video it was me doing a toy review and then me making something out of Legos and uh, you know and then obviously I start to get a little bit into tech and it is okay to have you know uh, influencers kind of give you some ideas of where to start off like obviously for me um, Unbox Therapy and Marquez were huge inspirations for me to start getting into tech obviously since one I already do like tech I'm super passionate about it and obviously you know I could share my knowledge and you know do some reviews of products that people may be interested in so that's kind of how I got into tech and then when it came to vlogs and things like that obviously I did have you know influencers inspire me such as Casey Neistat Logan Paul um, in order to get me into vlogging, kind of get a little bit out of my comfort zone. But obviously when you first start out, you will 
feel like you are getting out of your comfort zone, especially if you're not used to being in front of the camera, talking, things like that. But trust me, the more and more you do it, the more you kind of pursue going towards it. That way you will feel a lot more comfortable stepping out of your comfort zone and kind of fun finding something new that you're interested in. So for tip number three, it kind of comes into how much time you want to put in when it comes to viewing your analytics and monetization. Now, when I gained my first uh, thousand subscribers, that's when I start to find myself wanting to go more into the analytics, see how many views I'm getting uh, per video, kind of like CPM, things like that, where you know it comes with monetization. But the more and more you find yourself going to that, it can be a little bit demotivating sometimes. And when you see like previous videos doing really, really well, and when you put out a new video and you see that it doesn't get as many views as your older ones, you're gonna feel a little bit demotivated. You're gonna be like, oh, like just the video just didn't turn out as well as I was hoping it to be. You know, maybe it's gonna like make me stop and pursue something else. But trust me, don't let that thing get you down. And I only just recommend to check your analytics like very, very few times. Obviously, I know if you do have a lot more subscribers, like things like in like 10,000s, 100,000s, millions, obviously it is something you're gonna have to check uh, pretty consistently because, you know, most likely YouTube is your livelihood and that's how you're making most of your money. And guys, I'm also gonna do tip number four here as well since the sun isn't hitting me as hard as, you know, the other spots. But pretty much tip number four is to create good thumbnails. Now trust me, thumbnails is what is going to get you the views at the end of the day. Um, obviously, you guys remember back in like 2016, 2017, that's when clickbait became extremely popular and how a lot of YouTubers gained a lot more subscribers and a lot more attention was because of clickbaity titles, clickbaity thumbnails, something that's going to attract the audience. So definitely spend your time learning how to take good photos, good thumbnails, something that will attract someone else's attention to come to your videos. Now, obviously, I know it's not necessarily like the most fair tip to give, but especially in this day and age with so many YouTubers coming in and pretty much just putting all of these clickbaity titles, you know, you kind of have to play along with the algorithm, play along with the system. And that is a, one way how you can get your channel to be noticed by a lot more viewers and hopefully gain more subscribers out of it. So one thing is to make good thumbnails that will attract audiences to want to watch your content. And also before we get into the final tip uh, that is extremely important for you guys to hear, I'm going to kind of give like a little tip like that's a 4.5 uh, that would be good for you guys to know is to make sure that you are active with your community that is something that is extremely important so you know make sure that you are active with them uh, be active in the comments obviously with people commenting you know saying that like oh I like your videos or you know if you're doing maybe like a tech review uh, for example and they have a question about you know what you're doing with that tech then go ahead and answer that question but if you're someone who's just starting out and you are getting about like you know five to ten comments per video something like that or even less um, definitely be active with them and try to gain their attention and just try to make them to be your friends, honestly. Like that's one thing that will definitely help you out in the long run is try to build a relationship, try to build a friendship with your viewers. So that way, not only do they stay, but also they can get other people to come and view your content as well. So definitely be active with your community, be active with the people that comment in your videos. And I guarantee you that it will help you out in the long run. And guys, when it comes to the final tip of how to grow your platform on YouTube, it's pretty much just to make content that what you feel comfortable with. Don't feel too pressured by your audience or you know, if they say, oh, your video sucks, we don't really like what you're doing. Trust me, like even when I started out, I remember I got a lot of hate a lot of negative comments, but it didn't stop me from continuing. And now you guys can see that I have a thousand subscribers and still working my way up. I'm really hoping that I can try to hit 2000 by hopefully the end of this year, maybe next, uh, see what happens with that. But yeah, so definitely when you're starting out, um, it is normal to get negative hate, you know, things like that, because you are starting something out new. It's different for people. They're trying to adjust to, you know, the new thing that you're doing. But what's important is that you stick with it, continue to do what you want to do, and don't feel pressured by them of, you know, them giving you ideas of stuff that you're not comfortable with. Try to find ideas that you really enjoy, something that you're extremely passionate about, and then put it out there. And pretty much you can grow your audience that have similar passions or similar interests as you, and then build it up from there. So that's probably one of the best tips that I can give you guys and that's kind of do it when it comes to the tips now let us get into the announcement that i really really want to talk about and here is a clip of me meeting up with someone that you guys may know for those who have previously been on my channel so right now i'm meeting up with the privy for a very uh important reason why and uh pretty much the reason is we have a huge announcement and Kirby, you want to say it <laughs> so uh we're doing a road trip to colorado 
and during this road trip we're going to be filming a new documentary which is about teenage mental health in college. So as Trivi just told you guys, yes we are starting out our very first documentary and I was giving you guys some hints back there of me, you know, talking about documentaries, interviews, things like that. And honestly this is something that Krivi and I are just super excited to start. Um, I know we've been wanting to do this for a while. We've been planning out this documentary for probably like a good three to four months and pretty much I think by the time that this video comes out uh, pretty much we will start shooting. As he said about this documentary it is going to be based around college students and mental health uh, and pretty much things that you don't really see and uh, you know kind of go behind the scenes of you know what a typical day in a life is for a college student things that they have to deal with and maybe there are things about college that maybe you guys don't know that we are going to cover in this documentary and obviously I don't want to spoil exactly what we're going to be talking about in it but it is as I said going to be a very very important project for me and Krivi because it is something that we're both passionate about uh, talking about and something that we really want to get our message across to other people that may have a skewed version on what we think and our ideas behind it and pretty much within the film we are actually going to be doing a road trip. We're going to be uh, driving all the way from here in Sacramento, California all the way to Boulder, Colorado. So pretty much that's like a day's worth of driving. Obviously we've kind of planned it out to make sure that we don't really, you know, go a full 24 hours of driving. We're going to make sure we stay somewhere, kind of rest up, go the next day. But also this documentary is going to be probably one of the longest things we've worked on since you guys know we have done the 2020 short film, the 2021 short film, um, which have kind of been between like, you know, to two to four minutes. Um, so kind of like your average short film based. But for a documentary, uh, Kirby and I are really hoping for us to kind of get into the 30 minute mark or even maybe into a full hour. So honestly, when it comes to a release date, I know some of you guys have been asking me this um, for those who do know about this documentary. When it comes to a release date, I don't know just yet because I don't want to give a strict deadline to myself like what I've done for the previous short films that you guys have seen, uh, like with the 2020 and the 2021 of doing December 31st, 12 p.m. PST. Um, but this thing is something that I really am passionate about and I want to take my time with it. So if I have to give a rough, uh, like a rough estimate of when this project will be coming out for you guys to uh, officially see, I'll probably say either hopefully late last, uh, hopefully late this year if I can get it done, but if not, it will most likely be early 2022. And I pretty much would assume that it, it will be coming out in 2022 because especially for, you know, filming something that is 30 minutes to an hour, I really, really want to take my time with it since, you know, going back to the 2020 and 2021, you know, we never really got a whole lot of time to film. We generally always uh, shot those films pretty much like, you know, a week or two before the due date is uh, that I've kind of put on myself. So this is something that I definitely do want to take my time with and kind of nurture it, especially if there are, you know, transitions that I want to use or, you know, sound design, things like that. And also part of the documentary, another announcement that I can talk about right now, obviously there are other announcements that I can't really talk about yet. But another announcement is that vlog series will be coming back. I know the last time that I did vlog series was me in Europe, kind of going to, you know, the UK, France, Italy, uh, Greece, things like that. Finally, we are getting back into vlog series and what it's going to be is just behind the scenes of Caribbean Eyes road trip uh, from all the way here in Sacramento to Boulder uh, and pretty much interviewing students and professors, things like that for the doc. So I hope you guys are super interested into that. And when it comes to the vlog series, we are partnering up with a company that I'm extremely passionate about and I do love their products and that uh, you guys probably have seen me use their products before, but you guys will be shocked to know uh, what company we've partnered up with. I'm super excited to get them in on this project and uh, just so thankful for them for helping us out in this trip. So again, so many, so many things that I just I want to talk about right now. But again, we have to wait when it comes to the filming process. And also, even besides the documentary and the vlog series, there is another big announcement that I do want to make. I have kind of mentioned it in the previous video, so make sure you guys go back to my previous videos, go watch it. I do talk about a little bit about what I'm kind of mentioning right now. But uh, we are going to be filming some stuff for that as well in the process that I really wish I could talk about. But again, it will be better if I save it later on. So again, there's just so, so much stuff that is coming out. And uh, again, huge, huge announcements. And I'm so happy to be working with Krivi. So happy to be working with a company that is helping us out in this documentary and behind the scenes. And yeah, again, I just hope you guys are here with us for the ride. But it's just incredible to see that Krivi and I have gone from just like small short films all the way going into uh, working on our very first documentary. So I'm so excited to take you guys on the ride. Literally, we're not taking a flight, we're, we're gonna be driving. It's gonna be a long drive. 
uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot in the process, but as you guys can tell by my reaction, I am super, super excited and want you guys to be a part of the process. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have anything you guys want to talk about when it comes to the documentary, again, even when it comes to the tips that I mentioned, and I know the sun is fading fast right now, let me just kind of brighten this up for you guys. But if there is anything that you guys want to talk about with me when it comes to pretty much growing your platform on YouTube, or obviously when it comes to the stock, if you are a college student wanting to help out, definitely let me know. I'm always, always listening to your guys' feedback. And that is going to do for us on this video. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being with me on this ride. I know it's going to be getting wilder and crazier. But again, so many things coming out in the future that I'm just so pumped for you guys to see. And Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Peace.